Hello, Heather L. Solrisa. I'm back for the next segment. And this one is about my new hat collection, my spring summer line in the Etsy shop or in my Insta shop, my Instagram at Heather Mode Wardrobe on Instagram. That's my Insta gram shop my insta shop if you want just my regular blog and me on instagram it's heather l sonarisa and of course my youtube channel here on heather mode wardrobe my blog spot is heather mode and wardrobe dot blogspot dot com okay as you can see i've got my little kind of 1930s 1940s modern inspired updo um kind of pompadour curly cue really cute Simple, easy. You could wear this during the day. You could wear it out at night. Uh, very 1930s vintage style. And so I'm going to talk to you first about the brim versus a non-brim top sitting tilt hat. And the pluses and minuses of a top sitting tilt hat. Now what the heck is a top sitting tilt hat? Um, I keep saying um. Excuse me for that. A top sitting tilt hat is a hat that sits on top of your head versus over. Think of the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate, who wears a lot of top sitting tilt hats. Or think of all the hat girls out there that are wearing the, the boaters on the back of their head. That's an over the head hat. Top sitting tilt hats are not sized they're one size and you're going to either attach them with hat pins, hair cones, or stretch cords. So the first two I'm going to show you are from my spring summer collection in my Etsy shop, heathermowardrobe.etsy.com. This first one is a pastel dusky purple. It's got a brim and it's got simple trim. It does not have a band around the middle because I just loved the design of this. This is very 1940s. They wore this style. Very 1940s inspired, I should say. I do not copy. Everything I do is a modern inspired version. It is not retro. It is a modern hat. Um, but they did wear this very old Hollywood. Straw braid. Really cute. One size brim tilt. Okay. As you can see, my hair is up. What you don't want to cover your pretty little hair do right now. And you want to find your good side, whichever one it is. So with that in mind, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it like so. Look how cute is that? And you've got this lovely profile look. Now this is very formal looking. When you start wearing your hair up, it gets really formal looking. That is this hat. And it is in the Etsy shop right now. Okay, the next one is another brim, but this one is an upsweep on one side, kind of French looking. And this one is more formal. Now the top of it is open for a nice little cheeky look and I put netting through it, which is like veiling. Um, it's got some pretty little flowers, hyacinths on the side and a nice little black white polka dot bow for a pop of an accent for the upsweep. Okay, again with this one. Now, you want the upsweep up. Um, my hair is up, so it's going to cover, but let's see what the difference is. It still looks really great, but it's a very different look, and it is just adorable. Tilt forward. You wouldn't want to wear these back here. That looks ridiculous, right? Because they're they're a small hat. They're not a normal size hat. They just sit on top like so. This is like something you'd wear at Ascot. This one is more formal. You can't really wear it casually. Whereas the last one I just showed you, the dusky purple, could be worn casually. Like what I have on today is a nice 1940s silk blouse that I created out of a vintage pattern in an apricot color. And then I have on some uh, wide leg jeans that I designed from a 1970s pattern that my mom actually sewed together for me because she's better at the clothing sewing than I am. But I do all the hats. Um, and with this little hat, it's adorable. 
it doesn't match my outfit, but it still works. And the simple little trim makes it more casual, but dressy. And it's very vintage old Hollywood looking. So you're gonna, you could wear just a plain tank top and some wide leg jeans. Make sure you've got some nice little kicky platforms on and put this on and do your hair up. You're going to look smashing. You're gonna have that vintage style that the girls are going crazy for right now. Okay, in my next segment, I'm going to take my hair down and show you some brimless tilt hats and what's the difference. So, stay tuned.